Welcome to Essential Oils 104 CBD. My name is Ellen McGraw and I've been with Young Living now for just over three years and up until just recently had not tried our CBD and once I did I couldn't stay silent any longer. Why? Well quite simply they work. And so today I'm so excited to talk to you about how a plant can impact your body in a positive way. We're going to dispel some myths, knock down fears, and answer a couple dozen questions on how this incredible plant oil affects the human body. And we'll do it with science, research, and facts. We're training on Nature's Ultra CBD infused with Young Living's essential oil. I believe is this is the best CBD on the market because of the unparalleled purity on how it's grown under seed to seal and how it is delivered to each cell in the body using the tiny molecules of essential oils as the delivery system. Let's jump right into the class. Here's a little teaser on what's to come. Welcome to Essential Oils 104, CBD. My name is Ellen McGraw, and I've been with Young Living for over three years now. And up until just recently, had not tried our CBD. And once I did, I couldn't stay silent any longer. Why? Quite simply, it works. And so today, I'm so excited to talk to you about how a plant can impact your body in a positive way. We're going to dispel some fat myths, knock down some fears, and answer a couple dozen questions on how this incredible plant affects the human body. And we'll do so with science, research, and facts. We're training on nature's ultra CBD infused with Young Living Essential Oil. I believe this is the best CBD on the market because of the unparalleled purity of how it's grown under seed to seal and how it's delivered to your cells using the tiny molecules of essential oils as the delivery system. Let's jump right into the class. Here's a little teaser on what's to come. What is CBD used for? It may be simpler to answer what CBD is not used for. It seems to be a miracle worker. Right now, there are significant studies on CBD for dozens and dozens of things, from resting to stress to so much more. If you may think it may be for you, I'd encourage you to do some research. Simply type in what you're looking for in the word CBD in Google to check out the latest science. The study of CBD is so new that studies are being released by the week that we've never seen before. Perhaps the best place to start is with a CBD testimony from a young living mom. I use the muscle and joint balm daily. Uh, I shoot with a giant camera most of the time and it's a lot of work holding that camera all the time and I've noticed that it really helps my fingers feel a little bit less tired at the end of the day. I use the calm roller every night before bed. Uh, I roll it on my wrist and on my chest and I just love the way that it smells, that the smell signals to me also that it's bedtime. It's it's become such a part of my routine that I think when I smell that, it's, it's time to go to bed. And I know that it just makes me feel a little bit more relaxed and more focused at falling asleep. Being able to see Nature's Ultra's lab reports has been a huge difference maker for me. Being able to have confidence in and what they're giving me feels good, knowing that they are fully transparent in what they're providing to their consumers is huge. It, it shows me that they're not putting anything in these products that they're not comfortable with, that I wouldn't be comfortable with. They're, 
they're just being open about what they're providing and that makes me feel very confident in, in trying and using their products. I love using Nature's Ultra CBD and seeing the changes that it's, it's made in my life and knowing that there's other moms and other people that are maybe experiencing some of those same things, being able to share this product with them has really made me feel great being able to, to pass on these benefits, knowing that I'm supporting a company that's transparent, that lets me see what they're doing. I can believe in that company and I can share that with others and, and feel confident in knowing that it's a, it's a good product. Now, is CBD marijuana? Yeah, let's just deal with the elephant in the room right now at the beginning of this class. The hemp plant is a cousin to the marijuana plant. It's like sweet corn versus field corn. Hemp is the parent plant and cannabis is the scientific name for that plant. Both hemp and marijuana contain cannabinol or CBD. The marijuana plant was hybridized to produce more than 40 times the amount of THC the chemical responsible for making you high. Hemp is very low, has very, very low amount of THC. In fact, for CBD to be legal, it must have less than 0.3% THC. Young Living CBD has 0.00% THC. This means members of our military and the police or anyone needing to take a drug test for, uh, for work can take it and routinely pass drug tests because there is no THC in our CBD. Now, why are we so scared of CBD? Well, we've been trained to be scared of it because of the legal climate in the United States. The legal issues with hemp started with the Marijuana Tax Act of 1937 that taxed cannabis. It has nothing to do with hemp being dangerous and everything to do with politics. Now, you know you've got to have some history, okay? So hemp was used for making paper and clothing and was in direct competition with some businesses, so owners set out to make it illegal. Hemp is actually one of the oldest cultivated crops of all time. It's been used in medicine and to make rope sales and paper. In history, it goes back over 6,000 years from China to Rome. Even in the United States, early Jamestown settlers observed the Powhatan Indians growing hemp in 1607. Colonial farmers could be fined by the British government if they did not grow hemp because the British needed it for sailing. Early drafts of the Declaration of Independence were written on hemp paper. Let's dig a little bit deeper into the history to understand why so many people fear CBD. CBD may be getting mainstream attention for the first time, but it doesn't mean that it's completely new. In fact, CBD has a long, fascinating history. The first documented use of medicine derived from cannabis dates all the way back to 2737 BC. But while the cannabis plant has been around for a long time, the recognition that it's comprised of unique compounds called cannabinoids is much more recent. During the rise of modern medicine, cannabis was largely unrecognized by the medical community due to the lack of scientific evidence of how it worked or even if it worked at all. In 1839, however, an Irish physician and medical researcher named William O'Shaughnessy published a study exploring the effects of cannabis. He also described possible medical applications of which helped set the stage for future research. In 1940, chemist Robert Kahn identified the structure of cannabis plant in an individual cannabinoid, cannabinol, CBN. Then in 1942, American chemist Roger Adams and his colleagues successfully isolated a cannabinoid for the first time, cannabidiol, CBD. Two years later, tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, was isolated for the first time. You will likely recognize THC as a psychoactive compound of the plant that causes euphoric effects. That's going to be important later, so keep that in mind. Once scientists understood that there were multiple cannabinoids and were able to isolate them, 
research into how individual cannabinoids work began. In 1946, Dr. Walter S. Lowe conducted tests using cannabis on lab animals. He noted that THC caused psychoactive effects on the animals, while CBD did not. In 1963, Dr. Raphael McCoolum took this research a step further and discovered the stereochemistry of CBD followed by the stereochemistry of THC one year later. This revealed a direct relationship between THC and the euphoric effects associated with cannabis and distanced CBD from the mind-altering compound. Unfortunately, stigma surrounding the cannabis plant due to the psychoactive euphoric effects often caused by THC led to restrictions on availability of cannabis, even for academic purposes. It became very difficult to do research on cannabis because possessing it, even for academic purposes, was prohibited. For many years, scientific research on cannabis, and thus CBD, was held back. While cannabis research may have been hindered by stigma, it wouldn't be defeated by it. In 1978, New Mexico became the first state to pass legislation allowing the medical use of cannabis in some form. They did so through the Controlled Substance Therapeutic Research Act which allowed the use of cannabis through a research program approved by the Food and Drug Administration. In 1996, California became the first state to legalize medical marijuana with the passing of Proposition 215. Many other states soon followed suit. With the legalization of medical marijuana came legal access to cannabis, and that allowed researchers to dive deeper into the study of CBD. Let's jump ahead to the current state of CBD. The 2014 Farm Bill laid the groundwork for the legalization of cultivating hemp and its products, such as CBD, and in 2018, it was expanded upon. According to the 2018 Farm Bill, hemp that contains less than 0.3% THC is legal to cultivate, and products that are derived from it and also contain less than 0.3% THC are legal to sell. This means CBD is federally legal as long as it is hemp derived and contains 0.3% THC or less. With the widespread legalization of hemp derived CBD has come renewed interest in it and CBD oil is now one of the most popular products in the health and wellness industry. At Nature's Ultra, we're strongly committed to creating high-quality CBD products that fully comply with regulations. We have a partner farm in Colorado where we use organic and sustainable farming practices to cultivate the best possible hemp plants. Our quality assurance system tests to ensure that all of our products contain non-traceable amounts of THC, and we publish our lab results so you can be completely confident that your product contains no traceable amounts of THC and is federally legal. That leads us to our final point, CBD's future. Because CBD is widely available now, more and more research is being done. That research will likely lead to more recognition of how CBD can help with people's health and lifestyles. We're confident that for many years to come, CBD will not just be a popular supplement, but one that offers a multitude of benefits for a wide range of people. Hemp is not a drug. Hemp is actually a plant that produces phytocannabinoids, which naturally enhance the body's endocannabinoid system. Much like essential oils do not cure disease, but they do aid the body's natural immune system by doing behind the scenes things like helping with cellular communication. When your soldiers are reinforced, they can do the fighting on their own. Science on the endocannabinoid system is just emerging and we learn more every year. The whole endocannabinoid system was not even discovered until the 1990s, 30 years after hemp had been banned. Hemp could not even be studied in universities because it was grouped with all cannabis species as a Schedule I drug in the Controlled Substance Act of 1970. That equates it to cocaine. But if you fast forward to 2014, the U.S. government passed a pilot program through the Farm Bill that would allow hemp to be grown and studied. The permanent language in the Hemp Farming Act of 2018, which falls under the Farm Bill, changed the status of hemp from a controlled substance one to a commodity like corn, soybeans, or tobacco. They will have far-reaching effects on American farmers, and it should dispel the myths of linking marijuana to hemp. Many authorities predict the hemp industry will grow by 700% and hemp will be grown in the Midwest as much as corn. Most Americans within the next five years will have tried at least a CBD product, and a high percentage will begin to use them on a regular basis, like they now use multivitamins and supplements to promote health. And by being in this class, 
You are part of a revolution by taking the fear out of the plant that the Lord created and intended for our use. The body is ready for CBD. That's your history lesson for the class. Now let's do a little anatomy. The human body is ready for CBD. God built receptors in our endocannabinoid system to accept CBD. Those receptors circulate throughout our bodies. They are even found in our white blood cells. You can almost think of the endocannabinoid system like the hormonal system. Any woman will tell you her hormones affect not only how she feels, but also her mood, complexion, energy levels, and digestion. The endocannabinoid system affects the entire body and is a major cont contributor to overall balance. Now that's why you use CBD for one thing, but find it works on other things that you never anticipated because the endocannabinoid system is throughout the entire body. Why use CBD over other products? In a sentence, CBD is a plant. It's a non-surgical drug-free approach to medicine. Dr. Mark Lingholm, who has practiced as a chiropractor for 25 years says, and I quote, I believe patients should seek natural remedies first, drugs as a second approach, and surgery as a last resort. Sometimes medication is necessary, but the general public is starting to understand that every drug has side effects. So the fewer drugs you take, the better off you are. I always believe in exploring other avenues. I have been trying and recommending supplements to my patients for more than two decades, and I'm seeing some incredible results, but nothing compares to the astounding results I began to see after my patients started taking CBD. It was life-changing for many of them. Some noticed results after a week. Most patients experienced the maximum benefit after two to three months. I'd often recommend the product for one problem only to find that they would notice improvements in their overall health too. In other words, they experienced side benefits instead of side effects. A June 2017 literature review looked at 74 total studies on the safety of CBD and gave promising results. The biggest side effect noted were drowsiness and slight changes in appetite and weight. Now, will I get high? Will I become a stoner? Again, CBD is not the same as marijuana. There is no THC in Young Living CBD. In November 2017, the World Health Organization published a report on CBD at a meeting held at their expert committee on drug dependence. The World Health Organization keeps an eye on over 3 billion people around the earth. In all that documentation, the committee claimed there had not been one single case globally of physical dependence or withdrawal symptoms from CBD, nor any reported cases of abuse or public health problems related to the use of CBD. Hemp has passed the test of time. Some of the earliest written evidence of its medicinal use comes from ancient China, where it was administered to the emperor in 2737 BC. That's before Christ. 77 AD, there are records of the Romans using it as medicine. It was popular in the Middle East and India, where it was considered sacred and used for ceremonies uh, for centuries. Now, this, along with contemporary research, adds to the safety of hemp. Can I get addicted or overdose? Current Drug Safety is a reputable journal with articles published on dozens of scientific sites like PubMed.com. It's used by doctors and researchers around the globe. They published a report that, proved, that has proved CBD to be non-toxic. According to the articles, even doses up to 1,500 milligrams a day, about 90 times the amount a doctor would recommend, were well tolerated in humans. Now, we don't recommend that you take 90 times the dose of anything, but it is a sensible statement that the body will take what it wants and flush the rest out. The reason CBD doesn't cause a high is because it interacts differently with the receptors in your brain than THC does. THC attaches itself to these receptors known as CB1 
and CB2 receptors. When you consume THC, you may experience physical changes, such as those in coordination and mental changes, such as those in your mood. You can't have those types of reactions with non-THC CBD because the chemical responsible for the mind-altering reactions is not present. Now, who made the plants? Uh, well, still concerned after looking at the World Health Organization's doctor's testimonies, a reputable journal, and science, you're not alone. It's because of how we've been programmed to understand this type of plant. Let me put CBD this way. Are you afraid to use CBD but not peppermint or oregano, which are also <laughs> not THC? <laughs> well, this is what I would say. Who made the plants? Who gets the credit? Revelation 22.2 says the leaves of the plants are for the healings of the nation. Do not fear the plants. The constituents in peppermint cools you off. The constituents in CBD affect change in the body. Now, how much do I take and when? Let's shift gears and talk dosage. And for this, there is no easy answer. Everyone's different. Factors like your weight and height, diet, metabolism, genetics, environment, and lifestyle all affect your optimal CBD dose. There is no universal dose. Young Living's comes with a dropper. Experts recommend that you start with a half dropper twice a day. Separate each dose by 12 hours to achieve 24 hour saturation in the body. CBD needs time to build in the body, so you may need to take it for several weeks before you see a shift. With the muscle rub, apply topically, and with the roll-on, apply on the chest or the back of the neck or the feet. Now, what makes Young Living different? Well, we have Smart Spectrum CBD. It's never been done before. The CBD world speaks in terms of broad spectrum. Now that's the whole plant, which is considered better, and isolates, which just use part of the plant. We decided to do it a little differently. To give you a short answer, here are three reasons that make Young Living's CBD amazing. Number one, broad spectrum versus isolate. Now we do neither. We went instead with a third route called Smart Spectrum. You see, you can't adhere to seed to seal, of course, our standard of purity if you use the whole plant. You also can't guarantee that it's 100% THC free. And that wasn't good enough for our founder, D. Gary Young. So we introduced something totally different called Smart Spectrum. We'll break it down in just a moment. Two other reasons Young Living is, is better our seed to seal, of course. It's how we source our plants. They're grown with no fertilizers, no pesticides, no sulfur, no irrigation, no dyes, no heavy metals of lead, arson, mercury, or canadian in the soil. We have terpenes in our oils. Terpenes carry the CBD constituents to the cells. They piggyback on the oils and get delivered to the cells, like our ninksha. They ride on the oils to get to the cells. Terpenes are why our CBD markers are, we use the whole plant. They need terpenes in the CBD to deliver the constituents to the cells to make the CBD bioavailable. We can skip using the whole plant and its THC and its particles we don't want because our essential oils carry the terpenes. Let's take a closer look at exactly what smart spectrum truly means. Let's start by going over the different types of CBD. First, there's full spectrum CBD, which is extracted from the cannabis plant with all of the plant's other compounds, including THC. Next, there's broad spectrum CBD, which is extracted with all the plant's compounds except for THC, though many broad spectrum products contain it in small amounts. Then there's CBD isolate, which is exactly what it sounds like, CBD that is isolated from all other compounds in the plant. At Nature's Ultra, we use CBD isolate because it's the most pure form of CBD. That gives us the confidence of knowing that there are no unknown compounds in it. It's simply pure CBD, 
straight from our partner farm in Colorado. Using a CBD isolate is a great way to ensure that our CBD is pure and potent, but it also means that you could miss out on potential benefits of terpenes. Fortunately, high quality, safe, and effective terpenes can be added back using essential oils. That's why at Nature's Ultra, we craft our own smart spectrum CBD products by taking high quality CBD oil and combining it with young living essential oils. That means that you can enjoy the benefits of both. Many people are already familiar with essential oils, but let's do a quick refresher. Essential oils are natural oils that are distilled from plants, including trees, roots, leaves, seeds, fruits, and flowers. Part of what makes essential oils great is a group of natural compounds called terpenes. Terpenes are naturally occurring hydrocarbons that are the most common source of aromas and flavors in essential oils. In fact, if a plant has a distinct smell or flavor, it's probably because it has terpene. Essential oils and CBD make great partners because they complement each other so well. The terpenes in the essential oils have their own unique benefits, such as offering an energizing aroma, helping to soothe tired muscles, and promoting a good night's sleep. By combining essential oils and CBD, we go beyond the benefits of CBD and essential oils on their own to create something truly special. And best of all, by adding terpenes from Young Living Essential Oils to our CBD products, we are able to provide a premium product with no unknown ingredients. We know that every single component of our product has been carefully vetted to ensure it's of the best possible quality. There's no other CBD oil like it in the world. Now, there are seven reasons why Young Living is better than the organic standard. Let's run through what seed to seal actually means. Here, you see it side by side. With organic, 5% non-organic material is allowed. Young Living, no pesticides or chemicals are allowed. Um, number two, three years of growing before the organic standard is met. Okay, number two, on our side, seed to seal, chemical-free soil for at least 50 years. Number three, they may use approved synthetics for pest. All of ours on the other end, of course, our control is the essential oils. Number four, on the organic side, only soil testing is required. For us, water, soil, and air is tested. For them, number five, may use conventional seeds that are non-GMO. For us, mm, only the best, heirloom seeds. No conventionally grown seeds are allowed. Number six on their side, approval board can be staffed by volunteers. Mm, not for us, 50 plus trained scientists on staff for testing. And number seven on the organic side, no third party testing is required for us third-party testing on every single batch. You know what's amazing? It's because everything we do is held to the c to c standards. Um, all of our oils, supplements, kids and baby products, personal care products like shampoo and toothpaste, skin care, makeup, cleaning supplies, and more. We don't greenwash. When we tell you it's clean, it's safe for your family, you can take it to the bank. Purity is what we do. We protect you from the farm to the bottle. Oh, and one more thing, we're transparent. You can hop in your car and visit any of our farms at any time. Let's take a little trip to the CBD farm right now. Colorado 
We chose Colorado for our farm because Colorado has such a high elevation, there are no pesticides required. And that also ensures that your product doesn't have any pesticides. And we also chose Colorado because they are leading the way when it comes to regulation. We wanna make sure that we're partnering with states that are committed to growing this industry. And Colorado is definitely at the top of that list. One of my favorite things about Colorado is our entire hemp farm is naturally grown in the sunlight. We wanna be a part of the ecosystem. So that's another reason we don't use any pesticides. There are, you know, bees and other bugs around here that uh, actually don't harm the plant at all and they just live here. So it's really important to us whether it's sunlight, the well water, the, the soil, everything's got to be dialed in to meet our requirement product. We use organic, organic farming, farming practices, practices and we do that on purpose because the USDA has not come into the space and said that this crop can be certified organic. We're in essence complying with everything that would be required by the USDA to make our crop as organic as possible. So when they do release that certification, it's available to us immediately. And part of that for us is rotating the crop. So we'll actually put a different crop on the field in between the two harvest seasons. And that way the crop is able to pull out some of that toxins and other stuff in the dirt. It helps purify the dirt before the next rotation of hemp plants are born. There are several wells all throughout our farm here. And these wells are really important because you wanna know the source of your water because the quality of that water will dictate the quality of your plant. This is obviously something that the plants are getting on a consistent basis. If that water source is not up to the quality standards, your plant will not meet the quality standards. So all of our well water is tested and certified before we use it. After the harvest is done, the soil is still have some treatments left. And what we do is actually go back through the field and mulch the leftover stalks and any leftover hemp plant and mulch it back into the dirt. And this helps the soil get all the nutrients naturally from what's either grown and other plants that are still in there. It mixes it all back up and then you're left with a nice clean field. Everything that is in this is recycled back into the And again, all plays back to quality. We don't go through all these efforts for no reason. We want to make sure that the moment it's planted and the seed is in the ground, that it's got the best opportunity to be the fullest plant possible. Absolutely love that. Now, you know you have to have some science with this, right? Of course. Now, we don't talk about it much, but we have some of the best labs in the world at Young Living. We have equipment that no other oil company has. We have the largest oils library in the world with documented uses of oils that date back over 30 years. We've gathered that library by doing research on oils on six different continents. The way we test is unmatched globally. Let's take you deep into the corporate headquarters, right into our research labs with the head of our testing department, Dr. Mike Book. Hi everyone, I'm Mike Book and I'm the Chief Science Officer here at Young Living. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about our new CBD line known as Nature's Ultra. So here we are in the quality control laboratories at Young Living and I wanted to show you a few of the tests that we actually use to ensure that you're getting the best CBD products possible. This is an instrument called an ultra high performance liquid chromatograph and we use these instruments to measure the amount of CBD in every product to make sure you're really getting your money's worth. We also use instruments like these to make sure that you're actually getting 0% THC. Now down here is another suite of instruments that we call gas chromatographs. We can measure thousands of different impurities with these instruments. They're extremely sensitive and very accurate. Now speaking of impurities, another thing that we always want to check for are heavy metals, which come from the soil and go into the plants. Bad heavy metals, things like lead and mercury. This is an instrument called an inductively coupled plasma mass spectrometer. 
and it can find heavy metals down to the part per billion level. It's extremely sensitive, and this is a way that we can make sure that your products are as clean as they can possibly be. And now finally, let me walk you over here and show you something that most people never get to see. This is our state-of-the-art microbiology laboratory. And of course, we have microbiologists working in here all the time to ensure that our products don't contain any nasty bacteria or yeasts or molds. So we test each and every product thoroughly for microbes. This is just some of the things that we do to ensure that you're getting the absolute best CBD products from Nature's Ultra and Young Living. Now, how do you start? Well, are you ready to get this goodness into your hands? It's time to talk about how to have a starter kit box show up right at your front door. There are two kits to choose from, regular strength and extra strength. Okay, I recommend that you start with the full CBD starter kit with Young Living. I usually do the regular strength starter kit, then add the extra strength to the essential rewards order for month two as I work up to it. Begin with half droppers twice a day until you're at full droppers by month's end. The starter kit comes with three products, the muscle rub for achy joints, a citrus dropper of CBD, and a calm roll on. The best way to get CBD with a Young Living Starter Kit is because you save because you've got a wholesale discount. Then order it on Essential Rewards monthly to save an additional 10% on top of your lifetime 24% wholesale discount. No yearly fees. No strings attached. Let's take an up close look at the three products in this powerful starter kit. Let's start with the dropper. This is one of the most powerful CBD products in the kit. You'll notice when you get, go to reorder that our CBD comes in three different flavors, citrus, cinnamon, and cool mint. If you don't get the results you're looking for after a month, try switching to a different flavor. The different oils in each bottle work differently with the human body. They are pre-selected in the kit, but you lucked out because citrus is everybody's favorite. <laughs> Apply one dropper to the desired. Then the second product we have has rave reviews. The CBD Calm Roll-On helps you to create a peaceful environment, to relax, to quiet your mind, to unwind. It's infused with powerful oils for resting, like frankincense, lavender, orange, vetiver, and ylang-ylang. I love to roll this on the back of my neck, on my hairline, across my forehead, on my chest, or in my hands, and just take a deep breath in. Now, I'd love to introduce you to a friend, okay? The CBD Muscle Rub. Love this. Muscles, of course, can hold a grudge, okay? After being worked a lot, you know, after you spent the day in the gym, hiking, moving boxes, or lifting children, it's going to take something fierce for your body to forgive you. Well, CBD Muscle Rub from Nature's Altar takes the hot and cold sensation of menthol and gives it a boost by infusing it with an array of all natural Young Living's essential oils. Camphor, clove, helichrysum, lemon, peppermint, tea tree, wintergreen, and more. These ingredients work hard together to soothe your hard working body. Apply to clean skin and massage in well. Now, how do you save the most money? Now, as you're checking out, you'll have an option to set up essential rewards. Click yes. <laughs> That's our loyalty program. It allows you to restock your CBD every month at a steep discount. By getting a starter kit today, you'll already get 24% wholesale discount, okay, on anything you order off the site for life. But by setting up essential rewards, you'll get another 10% off immediately on your first ER order. After four months, that jumps to 20% off. And then after 25 consecutive months, you'll get 25% off on top of your 24% off wholesale discount. Now that's almost half off. It's the most affordable way to order CBD. Let's take another look.
Did you enjoy the class? We love to empower you to take your health into your own hands. Read labels, question ingredients and safety, believe in the power of Seed to Seal. There are three great resources I'd love to get you plugged into as you continue your CBD and your oils journey. Doc Ollie's The Power of CBD and Essential Oils is a great book. Diamond Cody Lynn Kaler's CBD Plant-Based Wellness is a second fantastic book. And the Facebook page, The CBD Collective, is run by a group of Young Living Diamonds that will answer all of your CBD questions in an FAQ style with short videos and training sessions. Get plugged in and grow. We are an education-driven team. I believe in training you long after this class is over. Now, this class is actually one in a series of five classes. 101 Oils, 102 Thieves, 103 Ningxia, and soon 105 Fearless. Make sure to watch the rest of these free classes in the series right here on my YouTube channel. We believe in the power of education. For giving us your time today, I want to Put a couple of resources in your hands. The first is the CBD Oil 30 Day Challenge Calendar. This will take you on a scavenger hunt through your CBD starter kit. Check off each box as you complete the challenges and note any changes you feel on the right side of the page. Accept the two bonus challenges uh, to up your oils game, okay? Then take a picture and shoot me a screenshot. Once you get it all filled out, I'll uh, get a little gift to you in the mail. It's my way of coming alongside you on this journey to show you that you're not alone. So many of us are critically reading labels, banning ingredients from our doorsteps, and living a cleaner way. You're part of an army that's saying no to toxic chemicals. I also want to put the book Fearless in Your Hands by Young Living Diamond, Sarah Harnish. That will train you how to systematically continue your journey and bed dangerous products in your home, room by room. Welcome to Oiling. If you'd like to find out how to get your starter kit for free, touch base with me afterwards or whoever invited you to this class today. It's a concept called Friends of Friends, and we'd love to get you plugged in. You have survived Essential Oils 104. CBD, thank you for coming to the class.